and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. You ready to break some boxes? I think so. This one in particular, I think, is just looking to be absolutely annihilated. Oh man, let's just get out the saws and hammers and things. Can you imagine? That would really ruin everyone's day if we just totally destroyed the box, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Roll the intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the wheel of energy. Oh man, here we go. Oh yeah, I got it, not you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think what's it's gonna, gonna be? be? What's gonna be? What's I think it's gonna be raucous bumbling. Raucous rumbling, indeed. Oh, I was right. I totally oh called gosh. it. That is fantastic. Way to go, uh, self. Pat myself on the back. Actually, I was only guessing that. I was hoping it was going to be raucous bumbling today because of today's randomly chosen common chase cards, two of which are raucous bumbling. Uh, they are going to be Mankey, Crocodile, and Charcadet. Okay, I feel like all three of those, well, the Mankey maybe less, but the Crocodile, I feel like we've seen a bunch of because I always want to call it Crocodile. And right. it's like, oh, Crook, Crook, Crook. Okay. Okay. Got it, got it in the Charcadet. I feel like that's another one that, that has been popping up a lot. We'll have to see if there's like multiple forms of art for us. Of those. I know. I feel like maybe the Charka that there are multiple forms are. That was the oh. one I was thinking as well. Wow, that's the one I was thinking as well. Okay, so I'm super excited. What yeah. else do we have to do? Anything? Do we have to change the skateboards? Oh, you're right. For raucous pummeling, what would we put up instead of the Flareon? Mm. Regular Eevee? Hmm. What? Who's the fairy one? Sylveon. Let's do Sylveon. Okay. All right. All right. It's been a minute since we've had the old Sylveon in there. I was okay with it in the beginning. Now, now, there's this. Really wasn't that bad that time. I only had to move the puck light once, so. And that was nice. That yeah. was nice. That worked. Now we're off to the races. Now we're off Dude, to the races. Going first. Okay. Uh. <laughs> All right, well, our first contestant of the day is going to be Charcopple. Charcopple! As a reminder, this is the final uh, pack of round two. So this after uh, this episode, everyone in the game should have had two packs open. And I've been told that there are no rookies in today's field. So no, no rookies. All whatsoever. veteran players today. Okay, so we're starting off with Team Water as well, which by the way, currently if we're looking at our leaderboard, if I can get it to switch over, Team Water is currently in a measly last place. So, measly last. So Shark Cadet looking to uh, really like just blow past Dalton Green, who was currently in ninth place overall with 23 points to really put some points on the table. That would be great because Shark Apple's only got two points so far on the season. Okay, did I call him Shark Cadet just now? I may well, have. Well, you, you might have, but that is okay. one of our uh, randomly chosen common chase cards. All right, so we've got the Fumi Coco, the Drowsy, the Nimona, the Lechonk, the Medicham will score, scores. the Quaxwell, the Cyclozar, the Hypno will not score, the Sandile Sand will. will. Oh, oh, right out of the gate, a Full Art Iron Treads EX. That yeah, is we, fantastic. I love it. Okay, so we keep talking about wanting the last pack to be like the big pack, but it's also pretty exciting when the first pack has got something in it as well. That is exciting. Let's see. Now, Iron Treads is not like a super competitive card, but this is a rarer version of it, so that that bodes a little well. A little well, but not a lot well, oh, because no. it's worth $1.93, which so, will be worth uh, two points, three, so four. Four on the day, that's gonna bring Charcopple up to six points on the season. So, but at the very least, you get this epic Iron Treads card. There so. we go, but yeah, not gonna be quite enough to, to put um, Charcopple in the equation for the scoring. 
uh, players for Team Water, unfortunately, but we'll be on the lookout for them today. All right, next up is Monkey Bacon. Monkey Bacon. Okay, got uh, three points on the season thus far. They are a father-son team. Uh, dad is bacon, son is monkey. Oh, I love it. All right, so here we go. I decree that this pack has to go to Monkey. So, sorry, Dad. Oh! Here we go. You decree. It's been ha now, it's, I mean, It's go. been said. It's been said. It's been said. Let's see, bam, oh. fireball oh. energy. Okay. Let's yep. see, right. how are we gonna do? We got the Magnemite, the Tarantula, the Pokemon Catcher, the Clauncher, not so much so far. Cacturn, the Potion, the Cyclozar does score, and the Annihilate will score twice because it has got the type advantage and it's a rare card. So actually a three-point pack overall. There you go. Not too awful bad. Not too awful well, bad. You monkey, know I mean? look, and how perfect because Annihilate is a is a is a monkey. So hey. there you go. Um, ape for the monkey. Well done, sir. Enjoy your cards. Next up, Ben. Oh man, it is a uh, CK Hoof Talk. CK Hoof Talk. CK Hoof Talk, who was a former contender for first place in the previous season, uh, with forty points. With forty points last season out of one pack. So right now they've only got a single point going for them. So maybe in contention for last place, which if I recall is a pretty tight race at the moment. It is for sure. Okay, so we got Flittle, Shroomish. The Mankey will score twice. twice. Wow. Yeah, and the, the Charcadet will score, score so twice. No, just once. Just once. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm getting way ahead of myself. Right. Here. Jeez. The Vivalon, the Doxbun, the Torkoal, the Zangoose Does will not, not score. score. Oh! Arvin. The illustrator art Arvin as well. That is a really good pull. And then the yeah. Masquerada on top of it. This is an this is the rarest form of this card, and it is a pretty competitive card. So it bodes well how we look in. Okay, so I, I actually know that we've pulled this one at least once before because it's one of my favorite values, which is twelve dollars thirty four cents. So one two three four, uh, which will round up to thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 16 17. 17 points overall for Very CK Hoof Talk. You love to see it. That brings them to 18 on the season, which is good enough for 16th overall. That's that is Team impressive. Fire. Team Fire, but actually not amongst the top five of Top Fire, if you that, can believe it. That just goes to show how much Fire is over there flexing. Fire and Grass together are really just kind of the, uh, they are crushing the titans it. to be taken down, so to speak. There you go. It's, it's, it's a good tiebreaker, I guess, I suppose, for, CK, for Team Fire, though. That's right. That's right. All right. So next up is the Bourbonator, uh, who's coming into the day with two points on the season. Is this my pack? I believe so. Yeah. I gotta say, I feel like my half of this Your half has been a lot better so far. Really, I mean, Only three packs in, you've pulled two, two pulled. amazing cards. Yeah, not so bad, not yeah. so bad. All right, so well, I'll see what I got for you, Bourbonator. You know, I'm pulling for you, literally. All right, we have the um, Scar Energy there, the Pawnard, the Wiglet, the Toad School, Santa Sand Mile scores. Yeah. Beach card, good card. Santa, Santa Conda. Conda scores. Penny does not, Rock. Ross does not, and Research will. So just a three point pack. Overall, for the Bourbonator, going to bring them to five on the season. Uh, but uh, I've got like the, the family side over here because this is uh, Bourbonator also excited to start collecting with uh, his two kids. Oh, there we go. That's honestly, it is really, really cool. And I know for you in particular, oh, yeah. uh, as your kids are now starting to get like into that age range where they can get into it, it's very exciting to like imagine getting to like share this with. Oh, with I know. Children. I can't wait until they're like old enough to like actually like play the game with me because then anytime they're like, you want to play, I'd be like, yeah, yeah of course. I know. Yeah, you're going to be like locked and loaded with like like you just go little mini it. prodigies. It's gonna be great. Yeah. All right. Next up is Chris uh, playing for Team Water. Coming in today with six points and is training for his first marathon, or at least was when this season started. There we go. That's very exciting. I just completed my own first marathon uh, about a month ago now. Bam. Very exciting stuff. All right. So we got our fireball, fireball energy. energy. No there. rock is pummeling yet. No, not yet. The full baby, the Growlithe, the Starivia. Yep. Nice. Ralts, the Toad Scroll, the Mouse Hole, the Vitality Band, the Bisharp will not score, the Rare Candy will not score. Oh my oh, gosh! Uncle, dude, what is with your side? The first three packs on your side have all had big cards in them. I know, that is absolutely wild. It's Unbelievable. I don't think it's worth a lot. I don't think it is, but um, it is It is nice to look at. It is nice to look and at. And it so is playable at the very least, so see. there's that. The Link Cologne number 158 is worth a, like a, a, an even $2. Oh, so so that's, what, that's pretty good. It's not bad, but one penny away from getting an extra rounded point. So just yeah, two points out of that pack overall, but full art oink alone coming your way.
All right, let's see if I can pull something like legit here for dough. No, I know. I feel like your your side of the pack certainly do. I feel like if you're if you're on my side, henceforth, you might be a little more worried. Then I, again, I, we know that dough is is part of a family of people who play. Her sons are also in the field as well. Hey, I know it is amazing. So yeah, it's like we're having weird trends today. We are. Here we go. We got metal energy for dough. We got the dollop, the quaxlate, the pawnard, the crushing hammer, the mesagoza, the drift blim, the defiant spin. Oh. Oh, the gold lightning energy, that is fantastic. And, and the Guard of War EX, there you go. Oh man, I think Doe has been waiting a long time to get some solid pulls from these packs and uh, she has. That will absolutely do it right there. The lightning energy itself is worth uh, a, a, a tad bit more even yeah. just than our Arvin that we just had, which was worth $12.34. This one is worth $12.35. Well, one cent more, but one still the same number of points. Yeah, so 13 points 13 for that. Points plus and whatever the, the Guard of War is. This is going to be number 86 on the set. And this is also a pretty competitive card, is it not? It is extremely competitive, if not the best deck in format right now. Okay, so yeah, in addition to that, we also have uh, the Guard of War being worth $8.03, which will round up to nine points. Right, so, so 22 man, so points on the pack. 22 points on the pack. Very impressive man, for Doe. Doe oh up my to gosh. 23 on the season, which actually does score for Team Fire. That brings her into the top five for them. Oh my gosh. So Fire cool. on Fire today. Man, well this, this box has been just properly loaded. It Although has. I mean, you're so front I know, are heavy. we too front loaded? Is the back half going to be bad or is this just like a great box? I'm going from the back. I'm going from the back. Oh man. Alright, next up we have Sydney Steel. Sydney Steel. I have heard rumors before that in Japan there are like the occasional box that is just like a like a fully loaded box. It's wow. just like everything is Well, like, that'd be amazing if this is one of those boxes. That would be so exciting. So yeah, we're, we're certainly... Oh, the rock is pummeling us oh. out! There we go! There let's we go. Hope, let's hope for something big. I know. Let's okay. go Sydney. So the Magneton, the Clawitzer, the Grievard, the Mastiff, the Pachirisu, the Picnic Basket, mm -hmm. the Bombardier, Mariah the Maraidon will score. score. Yep. The Fui Coco will not score. Oh, oh my gosh! What is happening in this box? I have no idea. So, so number the, 200... The Regular Binet is like a, is like a one point card. This is the full art, so it should be a little bit more. I don't know if it's going to be more than like two points or something. And it comes in at three oh five. Okay, so that's actually a four. That's a good rounding. That's four plus some ride on is five times two is a ten point pack. Oh my gosh, what an exciting day. Jeez. Uh, this is like, uh, we're so front loaded. I, and I pulled that from a completely different part of the box. Man. So like, I mean, just. We're just getting, this is just getting wild. So that could have, this could have been the time where it was like, that was the last card. Not that that would have been the best pull of the day so far. That's even, true, but that's true. But it still would have been like a fun way to, to good way to end. Day. Well, I'm gonna go from the back then, you know what? Do Why it, not? do it to it. Here we go, kaboom. For my backpack, we've got Reginald Munyon. That's a, that's a self-assigned nickname, apparently, not the card itself. So, uh, Reginald Munyon here is coming in with a single point, but I mean, the way this box is going, I'd be surprised if it sticks. Let's see, we got the Chansey, the Rare Candy, the Fido, the Starly, the Toad Scroll, the Psych Lazar, the Mankey will score, the Zangoose will not, and the Professor's Research. So, unfortunately, just gonna be a two point, no, a three point, point pack. Because oh, that's the score. chase card, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's a chase card, so it'll score two times. three point pack. So that is going to be bring Reginald Munyon up to uh, four points on the season and three points on the pack. Headed your way, sir. All right, next up we have Tempest Blade. Tempest. Tempest Blade, which is uh, coming into the day with six points. Okay, okay. Oh, this is our big lion lover, uh, Luxray Pyro or Lucario Ente. So I feel like, I feel like uh, with six points, you know, there's that decent chance I gotta find Big Steve here in the equation again. Mm -hmm. Where is he? He's at 12 overall? points, right? Uh, yes. Well, Big, Big Steve, Steve is at 11. Big Steve has 11. EK Sko currently has 12. Only person in the pack at right. number 29 uh, to have one point above Big Steve. So currently the only person in contention. However, uh, as we're starting to get really close to the final packs of the season, I think that's going to become really where the tight race is happening. Oh, Rock is pummeling! Rock is pummeling right off the old bat. Let's see there something big. Let's the see Caspa it. The Kid, the Potion, the Buizel, the Energy Retrieval, the Scovelin, the Oinkalone, the Breloom, the Tatsugiri will not score, the Armor Rouge will, will score, and, and the, the Maridon will. So man, unfortunately, you got the multiplier, but only two points otherwise which is yeah. just going to be a four-point pack for 10 on the season. And the way grass has been scoring, that is unfortunately not enough to score for the team competition. But either way, you're a pretty good position anyway. As a reminder for the team competition overall, we do have really cool um, like gym leader badges that we made. They're pins uh, kind of that will be specific to each season of Box Breakers. So uh, each team
team who wins will all receive an, uh, an additional little pin as uh, to, commer to commemorate their victory. That's right. All right, next up we have Doe's son. I'm serious, I have the family side over here. Uh, you really do. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we have Doe's son, Chase. Uh, let's see if uh, he can beat his mom out today with the grass energy. Feels like a good omen. We have the Houndoom, the Fido, the Scatterbug, the Drifloon, the KD, the Staraptor, the Electric Generator, the Houndstone Squawvit. Oh, oh, the Illustrator Art Squawvit. That's exciting. Or the Trainer Gallery Squawvit, whatever we're going to call that it. That is super cute. That, I love this. This is actually a very playable card, too. This is a really good card. Um, and then Arbeliva as well. So that is uh, three scoring cards, at the very least. Let's see what the Squawvit is worth. Yeah, two, number 222. Number 222 on the set. It's going to be worth $2.50. Right. We'll round up to three. Three, four, five on the pack. Man. So, doesn't beat his mom, but Ch uh, Chase does still, uh, that, the family is bringing home some nice cards. I was gonna say, yeah, they're, they're definitely pulling them in. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, that's the guard a, of war, it's a, the scovet, the lightning energy. It's a good, it's a good haul. Good haul indeed. Well done, sir. All right, next up we have Abby. Abby. Abby, who's coming in with three points. Um, and what, as of uh, a while ago, has, has, a, has a young child. Has a five-year-old and a five-week-old, but probably not a five weeks anymore. Oh, yes. Yeah, because right. that's as of October 3rd, so. So you know, much, much past much older. at this point. Yes, but indeed. not quite a year. Right, okay, so there's the there's our metal. Yep. Yeah, okay, I can never remember if it's metal or steel. Uh, the Tandem Mouse, the Poke Gear, the Fluit, the Palmy, the Toxtricity, the Crocolore, the Muck. The Growlithe will not score. The Squaw. Oh, there's the regular Squawit. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We just we just pulled the the altar, the illustrator yeah. art for, and the oh, Indeedy. Indeedy. Oh okay. man, so Abby is our first single pointer of the day, but they're coming in with three points on top of that, so they're not like in that last place competition. Yeah, let's see what we're looking at here at the moment. And so the 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 lowest score with someone who has opened two packs, which is what you have to have in order to qualify for last place. Uh, does in fact just have two points. I yeah, think, I think we have uh, five people with two points at two packs. One, two, three, four. Yes, five. Yeah. Yep. Um, All right, so we'll keep an eye on it. Yes, yeah, so they're, they're coming down to dollars and cents. Right, it can be a little contentious back there. All right, next up, we've got Chrisara. Chrisara is a black belt, so great fit for the Rockus Pummeling. Maybe yeah, they great, can pull the, great uh, day to pull. Type advantage. Um, a Mankey and a Crocodile. Right, let's see what they can whip up for us here. Just some teardrop energy. Okay. There's the Starly, the Flittle, the Shrimp. The Mankey, the there it is, we do it. Yeah, yeah. The, the Nest oh, Ball. Oh, the Nest Ball! Double points as well. The Palmot will score, the Paw Nard will not, and the Armor Rouge will score. So four scoring cards overall. That's going to be four, five, six. Yeah, right. Because yeah. the nest balls work too. The Mankey is both uh, the randomly chosen common chase card and Rock's pummeling energy. So yeah, six points there overall. We go. Six points for Krasar, bringing them to thirteen on the season. A uh, narrow miss on that big Steve opportunity. Although mm. now someone to keep an eye on for that quality eighth place, which is currently twenty four points and held by Nixie Claw. That's true. That's true. All right. So we'll have to keep an eye on them as well. Next, uh, the uh, as of the next episode, we'll start opening people's final packs so we can start getting some like real rankings. Yes. Yes. Be very excited to see. Where the pieces will fall. Next up, we have uh, Megan. Megan, who has been collecting Pokemon cards since she was five and is now 23 and has yet to open a single Charizard. Today will not be that day because there's no Charizard in this pack, but uh, there is a set with a new Charizard coming out soon, the Pokemon 151 pack. I am incredibly excited about that set. That's one yeah. where I feel like, like if I was like a bet man, it'd be like, okay, this, this might one, be a good yeah. one to like buy, maybe even like keep some stuff it's like good, unopened. It's a collector set. A collector for set, sure. for sure. Yeah. So there's the Lechonk, the Slowpoke, the Watt Troll, the Zangoose, the Kilowatt Troll, the Heracross, the oh, Crocodile score. Oh, the Double points. Two. The Cacturn will not score, the Pokemon Catcher will not score, and the King Gambit will yeah, so. for uh, so three points on the pack. Three overall. points on the pack for Megan. 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 There we go. Headed your way, Megan. There you go. All right. Next up, we have got uh, Jackinator and Dakinator. Uh, another, another, another duo. Another duo. As is the custom on this side of the table today. Oh, right. Yeah. Apparently. Okay. Apparently. So Jackinator and Dakinator uh, Nuzlocke alongside myself, and have found that they uh, love Star Wars. So man, you guys should really um, play some video games with us because these are all games we like. All right, next up, no no uh, type advantage, just the uh, dark tier drop. We have the Sprigatito, the Flittle, Seviper, Wug Trio, Judge, Floatzel, Energy Switch, Espathra, and Dondozo. Okay. Unfortunately, just a single point that you guys are gonna have to um, split 
among yourselves there. Well, and that, that uh, Dondozo is worth 11 cents, just for record keeping, in case it comes to it. Because I case think it came into the day with just two just points, two, so, so there is there is a possibility that, that, that... Yeah, it's possible last place is a four-pointer, in which case this would matter. Right, yes, there we go. There so, we go, the Dondozo. Either which mm. way, just enjoy, as ever, if you frame it, take a picture, mail it to us, we'll feature it here on the show. That's right. All right, next up we have Collard Cow 41. And he's coming today with uh, seven points total and makes pizza. Hey, I love pizza. I was literally just saying to my wife the other day that I think since we've been together, we have had pizza every single week, at least once in our relationship. That's I, an awesome I, fact. I think that that is absolutely accurate too. Yeah, um, I mean, it's hard to go a whole week without having pizza, especially when you have kids. Yeah. Like every, there's always that night where you're just like, I don't have it in me. I it's, just gotta, I it's gotta. It's pizza night. It's pizza night, let's go. Everyone loves pizza. We got Smolov, Wiglet, Grievard, Mastiff, Florges, Greedent, Vivalon, Clawitzer will not score, the Go-Go will not score, and the Professor's research, research. Oh no, just a single point for Collared Cow on the research there, so. Man, well seven points in their last pack, so. But that brings you like up to eight, which means you're in a pretty solid spot for Big Steve, because you can get, like a four point pack sounds pretty reasonable. It does seem pretty reasonable, especially yeah. depending on like what the type advantage of the day is and our randomly chosen common chase cards. Right. Which I always feel like the randomly chosen common chase cards are cards that in the last pop box, we saw a ton of, and then we don't see that many of in the next one. In the next I, one, yeah. yeah. It's always weird how it works out. All right, next up we have Hannah coming into the day with uh, four points. Uh, plays Legends of Arceus with her three-year-old daughter. Calls it her Pichu game. Oh, the Pichu game. Boom. Oh, Rock is pummeling. All right, let's another right, another right, like right. family situation going on here with the three-year-olds. I know that's amazing. So the Chalky Dead does score. Look at that. Right so out of the two gate. Two points right the out of the gate. Kid. The Potion, the Weasel, the Picnic Basket, the Bombardier, the Hypno, the Driftblum does not score, the Wiglet does not score, and the Coridon actually scores twice. So that's one, two, three, times two is six uh, points on the pack. Man, okay, okay. So a little taking so, advantage of the type advantage. Most certainly, I mean, yeah, I think I think if you can really stretch beyond like that that four point break, yeah. then you're, then I think you're you're doing pretty good with having the multiplier in there. Yeah, plus tw that puts you at 10 points on the season, Hannah, which means you're just uh, a couple points off Big Steve. Like you get like a two point pack is extremely doable. Right, and then we're gonna have to go down to the total rare card value to determine who has it over, uh, over EK Sko. Yeah, that's right. All right. Well, EK Sko will get more points because they have another pack to Oh, that's a good point, too. So that's they might not too. even be in it. Next up is Matt Cox, uh, who is an engineer that puts cables in space. Wow, that's cool. That is incredibly cool. Oh, and makes guitar strings. Hey, I just bought my very first guitar ever. This guy. I am terrified of it. Hmm. But one day, one day, uh, I Keep will- Keep it locked in the closet. I'll, I'll, I'll learn to do something with it, I hope. Okay, so we got the teardrop energy right off the top there. The Krogunk, the Dedenne, the Curlia, the Switch, the Flamigo, the Ferretris, the Rocky Helmet, the ta Tarantula will not score, the EXP share will not score, and the Houndstone will, well, just a, a single, single point. point. Oh dear, let's see, like, may as well get the value for that since we have three points total. Okay, yep, let's see here. So let's number see, one of This feels like very low value. It does feel, yes, it feels truly awful, mm. uh, is the way in which I would describe it. Right. 106 is worth a whopping seven cents. Wow, so that's uh, maybe good if it comes down to a four point situation. There we go. But you could, you never know. You never know. You keep never know. Of, keep track of it. All right, next up we have uh, Rozzy Thacking, uh, who is coming in with four points on the day. This is their rookie season, but not their, um, not their, rookie, not their rookie debut, okay. as it were. Yeah, they've been um, a fan since the Fire Red Nuzlocke. Oh my gosh, my goodness. And getting married in July. Wow, so close now. I'm Congrats. assuming you're having a Pokemon themed wedding. Absolutely. What else Congratulations. You yeah, you can add this to the decorations, you know, make it maybe some, maybe the centerpieces or something. Ooh. All right, we have the Citadel, the Magikarp, the Magnemite, the Energy Switch, the Lucario, Lucario scores. The Spupa, the Starly, and our favorite Slowbro. Yay! Not a lot of points, but uh, very nice to look at. So that's two points. Indeed, indeed. This is, I right want to go to a convention where um, uh, Shinji Kanata is is going to be present, where we can have that Slowbro autograph for That'd us, be because that would awesome. be a really cool piece to have. I'd be all about it. I'd be all about that. All right, let's keep our eyes peeled for that. Uh, next up is Jario, or Justin Jump. Ah, Jari, Jari, jump, man! I love right. it. I love it. There we go, man. My kids right now are obsessed with the Super Mario Brothers movie. I think we've watched it 
four times since yesterday. That's a bunch it's a of lot times. of Mario. It's a lot of Mario. Yeah. Are you getting worn out at all? No, not at all. It's really good. I enjoy it. Okay, it's very perfect. fun. Yeah. Okay. All right. The meta type will score the energy surge, the Grimer, the Dock Spun, the Torkoal, the Scovelin, the Alola Mola will not score. Oh, oh real Look at that! What an adorable little Oh, and it's a fighting type, so let's not forget oh, that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yes. We'll keep that in mind uh, as well. So an extra point for that. And the Rever Room uh, will also score being our rare card in the pack. Yep. Um, okay, so number 215. I know that we have pulled this little guy before because I recognize his adorableness. Uh, okay, so the real Lou is going to be worth $5.16, so six points six, plus one. So seven, eight, nine points. Not bad. Not pack. There you go. Uh, so 11 for Jario. Also, I feel like if you and I were competing with each other today, I think I would be winning. Oh, there's no doubt, yeah. Although, yeah, did you open be... you opened Doe's pack, though, which that was, I that was, did, that was yeah. a pretty heavy hitter. With the Gardevoir and the Lightning Energy. Yeah. Yes. Pretty solid. There we go. Maybe that should be a new mechanic, is that each game you and I are also facing off with one another to see who racks up the most points. That would be pretty funny. That would be a lot more to keep track of. <laughs> that would be. Someone at home can do that. You can let us know who scored more points so far. Yes, yes. Who wants to be our, our, new, our new data manager? Yeah, I know some people. I think someone uh, named Data in the... No in the competition. No, no pressure. pressure. Whatever. All right. Next up, we have Blue Malamute. Did I get it right? Malamute? Or Malamute? Malamute. Malamute? Malamute. Okay, well, I got it wrong. Blue Malamute! <laughs> <laughs> Who I believe came in last place in, in their first season, uh, which is which is why I know that their name, or how their name is pronounced, because I got it wrong. Okay. There we go. I'm writing it down the <laughs> second. Uh, here we go. The watch roll, the beach court, the Santa Conda is going to score for you. The Star Raptor will not. The Vivalon will not. Cloth will score will, twice. Yeah. And Indeedy uh, will score once. So that is going to be one, two, three, four points. Four for points. Mute. Boop, boop. There you go. That is a repeat of a four point performance from their first pack this season. So eight points on the season. Once well again, done. if you can repeat that four point, then you're in Big Steve. Can tend. There you go, right, yeah, you'll be right there at 12 points. That's exactly what you're aiming for, is another four points in the next pack. All right, next up is Shaman Nomo. Shaman Nomo. Shaman Nomo. Shaman Nomo. Well, Shaman Bofo, but is Shaman Nomo. I believe I told the story once upon a time of Alice's dog, yeah. Mozart. Mozart. Uh, that's my wife, uh, which was, they referred to as Momo. Okay. And one day when Momo oh, got, no. got real old, it was Momo yeah. Nomo. Momo Nomo. Oh no. <laughs> very sad, very sad indeed. Uh, RIP. Uh, Fumi Coco, Tropius, the Pokeball, the Rotom, the Mabostiff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you gotta have a dog in there. The wow. The Spirit Tomb, the Kilowatcher will not score, the Drifloon will not score, and the Quaquavel uh, will we'll score. That yeah. is gonna be a single point pack there, which is gonna bring you four on the seam for the season for Shaman Nomo. Um, sorry, you gotta. I'm gonna put. You know what? I'm gonna put Mabostiff on top for you. There you go. There you go. Enjoy Momo it. the Mabostiff. <laughs> Remember this day. Remember this day. All right. <laughs> Next up is uh, Drawing Hearts. Ooh. Drawing Hearts, who is in their rookie season, but not their rookie debut. Can as I just say, in. I'm truly awful at drawing hearts. I can yeah. never make both sides look the same. I know. You'd think it wouldn't be that hard. You would but think. But it's like it's like you got that weird curve all the way down. Right. Yeah, let's see. Uh, oh, Fireball Energy. Okay. Got the Varoom, the Clauncher, the Skiddo. The Man, this would have been a great teardrop. Pack. That would have been. If only oh, the, the Silk Cobra will, will score. score. Rare Candy does not. And, and the King, King Gambit, Gambit does. So two points for Drawing Hearts. Five points on the season. Five points on the season. Just inching their way up on their on their debut season. Bam, all right, I'm going to try and draw a heart for you. Okay, do it. Right, this do it, do is it. how I draw. I go. Whoa, very balloony. Oh, no. See, this one is very, like, the, the, the other side, not so good. Okay, ready? The ready. first half, is, I think, looks great. <laughs> you did, like, balloon on one side. <laughs> yeah. Not very good. There you go. They kind of look like butts. I think I decided at some point that doing the curve at the bottom helped rather than trying to just go like that. Although that doesn't look too bad. I mean, that's not too bad. Anyway. You can put that on a Valentine's Day card to mom. You anytime totally you want. Can, totally anytime can. you want it. All right. Anyway, there you go, drawing cards. <laughs> We're bad at drawing cards. Uh, hopefully you're better. Next up is Aiden, who's coming with 14 points on the season. Are they in the top um, 
four grass now doesn't look like it. Let's see, 14 points for Aiden. Yeah, not quite. Not, not quite, quite, but no. they could. They could jump up with another one. Um, Aiden loves chess and cricket and obviously Pokemon cards most of all. It doesn't say that, but I have to guess. Yeah, have to guess. Have, yeah. to, have to assume. Have mm -hmm. to assume. Yeah, Aiden looks like they may have been in contention for last Ooh. place. Oh, Rock is pummeling! And they got 14 points already. They have 14 right. points. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Aiden stayed. Okay, right. let's, right. let's see it. Come on, Aiden. All right, come on. come on. Big hit. Sandow, work two. Out. Murray, the mm. Oinkalone, the Breloom, the Kilowashal, the Toxel will not Nothing. score. The Breloom will not score. Oh, oh the, the cloth. cloth. Man. So that's uh, at least one, two, three times two is six. That, you know, honestly, it passes our test for uh, using the, the type advantage to your advantage. So. You got up to 20, which ties you with Karen for fifth place on grass. So there you go. You're at least, um, maybe, maybe your 20 points are counting, whereas Karen's maybe aren't, but. Who's, who's to say? To say? Who's, who's to, to say? say? It'd be so funny if this was Karen's pack. It would be extremely <laughs> funny. Uh, next up we have Ariel Stormborn. Stormborn. He's coming yeah. into the day with four points. All right. Okay, metal energy for the Stormborn. The Zangus, the Krogan, the Dedenne, the Curlia, Katie, Electric Generator, Wug Trio, no scoring cards at all yet, the Watchel, and oh, the Miasterada. Uh, just a single point there for Ariel. That is a bummer. Um, but you know what? Uh, it's a it's a starter Pokemon. So hey, look at you trying hey. to reach. Um, uh, uh, it's like it's like if you ever need some good bedside manner, this guy's your man. Hey, that is the real silver lining, which that card had. Anyway. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Next up, we have Mots. Mots. Mots, who has been waiting patiently for a big pull, and you've been on fire today. So let's see if Mots can get some big scores. All right. Um, let's historically, see. it looks like his best day has been six about points. Being on fire. On fire. And Not he's good. on team fire. Maybe it's a good omen. Maybe it's a good omen. We got the Gopa, the Flavebe, the Toxel, the Ralts, the Ultra Ball, the Espathra, the Arvin, the Charcadet Charcadet score. Will score. Yep. Yep, so that's that's exciting news. Oh, I think I see something peeking out back uh, there. The Drowsy uh, uh, will uh, not score, but the oh, Iron Treads will! Dread. So we saw the uh, more valuable Iron Treads <laughs> earlier, which I want to say was two points. So I gotta feel like bots, even though you're getting a nice looking Iron Treads, I don't think it's gonna be... It's a whopping good. 60 cents. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so, so two points on the pack for Mots. That's six on the season. Uh, enjoy your iron treads, though. You I know. know. I feel like we have pulled more iron treads this season than any other single mon in terms of full art. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. That's probably why it's not worth that much. I know. Maybe. Maybe. Pretty common. <laughs> All right. Ooh, Ben. We have our Cartavian. Is Cartavian. Up next. Our Cartavian has got that one point magic going so far. Their last card is worth nine. Cents. Okay, so okay. I want to say we had this happen a few times last time where they were looking for like a seven cent card and then they got it. Yes, it's true. So it's true. might be in the race for last if they can dodge any sort of um, Good modifiers start. at all, which they all they're they're Oh no, it's the wrong Charcadet. Oh, it's the wrong Charcadet. Look at this. Look at this. See, this is the one we're looking for. There wow. are in fact two, and I don't think that we've actually encountered this other one so far. Yet today, I don't think we have either. So there you go. Never mind. You're safe. No modifier just yet. Jacques, Florigato, Krogunk, the dollar doesn't score, but the Karaidon oh, will. will! So not in last place, I'm afraid. Let's uh, but let's see, Karaidon is one of the legendaries and one of the mascot Pokemon for Starlet and Violet. It is worth $1.07, which will round up to two points. Two, but it's also Rockus Pummeling, so three. Three, okay, good there catch, good catch. Go. So uh, three for Cartavian. Cartavian. Nice sleeve for you there, which also features uh, Coridon on it. So there we go. Yeah. Congratulations. How fitting for you. And don't, you know, don't, this is a sleeper card. This will be good at some point. Don't you worry. It's just coming. It's just coming. We just don't know yet. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good going. ability. We just got to get there. All right. Next up is Heather Lynn. Am I up? You up? I think, uh, was, I, don't know, I can't even remember. I'll do it. All right, Heather Lynn, you get a Ben pull. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, Heather's coming in with four points on the season. Uh, they've, they've, been, they've been playing middle of the field. Their, their best pack ever was 10. That was on their rookie debut. Okay. So uh -huh. looking for like a, a surge forward. There we go. We got the Silly Cobra, which will score. We got Riolu the Violu, which will score. The Go Goat, the Hair Across, the, the Crocodile, Crocodile will score Double twice. Points, man. Yep, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Solid. There we go. The Flabebe will not score. The Fido will not score. And the Palma oh, will. will. So, so let's see. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah. Honestly, a hard fought and impressive five, five points. points. 
points. That brings you to nine on the season as well, which brings you into excellent Big Steve range coming into the final pack. So keep an eye on that. Oh, but Bannon is another crowd favorite coming up next. It is Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee. Kimberly Lee. Who is, uh, who is a, I mean, they've had good packs in the past. They've had seasons where they did nothing but twos. They've got two on this season. So you never know with Kimberly Lee. It's you never a total know. wild just, card, you know, as indeed, it were, yeah. pun intended. All right, we've got the Switch, the Fuwakoko, the Tropius, the Pokeball, the Judge, Floatzel, the Stargrunt, the Flittle doesn't score, the Marie doesn't score, and the Marion Mariah will. So that gives Kimberly Lee just the single point. Unfortunately, wow, if you're looking back at Kimberly's um, record here, that might be her worst pull to date. Oh, man. Just unfortunate, unfortunate. A measly nine cents. A nine cents. Just, just, just in just case for... it, it ends up being relevant in the future at some That's point. That's true. Like, Kimberly, maybe this is like a sneak four point win. That would be impressive. Yeah, it would, would be yeah. impressive. Someone's got to do it at some point in time, so. Yeah, you know, it stands to reason that, because um, there's only five people sitting at two points. At you wanna know what I prefer is it stands to raisin. Stands to raisin? It stands to raisin. Like if you left it out in the sun long enough, it stands to raisin. It stands to raisin. Yeah. <laughs> this particular fruit stands to raisin. Stands to raisin. You leave this outside long enough, you're gonna have yourself some dry tomato. Some dry tomato. Some dry tomato. Is this just tomato raisins? Tomato raisins. Traisins? God, tomato raisins sound miserable. Yeah, yeah. Sun dried tomato is definitely the right call marketing wise. Yes, yes. <laughs> Sounds like artisan. <laughs> right. Sun dried? Well, well. Ooh. You never would see sun dried grapes. Right, no, you'd never see that. Yeah. Growlithe, Shuppet, Tandemouse, Smoliv, Cacturn, Mezagoza, Driftblim, Caspakid will not score, the Sprigadito will not score, and the Cyclozar will, with a single point, bring Narwhal King, who I didn't even announce him before. Sorry about that. Narwhal King has got eight points now on the season, and the cyclists are coming your way. Well done, well done. All right, been an SCG sub since Mario Kart days. Wow, man, right. going been back been to the while. early. So you know what you know where quality eighth place comes from. You're all you? about it. All right, next up we have Vicky. Vicky. Oh man, Vicky is another player who at the moment has a single point and seven cents. Wow. So I think if Vicky can pull a seven cent card here as her only scoring card, that would that be would put Vicky in total last. The most last place. The most last, yes. I, th I think 15 cents, no, maybe 16 cents is the lowest we all otherwise have. I, think so. I don't think anyone has a perfect seven cent, seven cent. And I, don't, I think seven cents is the lowest you can get. Yes. So let's see, oh, it doesn't yeah. look good though. Yeah. In fact, that's yeah. basically it. Uh, <laughs> in in fact, fact, it oh! Maybe Vicky's going in the other direction because he's got the Mankey and the Crocker Rock right there. That, that Mankey's actually twice. worth four points. Wow, you're right. Between, look at that. Like, yeah, really? Wow. All right, all right, all right Vicky, so what you got? Oh, oh my the gosh. Stone Journer. Uh oh. The type advantage is the coming. King and and the King Gambit will score. The King Gambit does score, you're right. And the Pokeball. And then the Houndstone. So look at that. Five, five scoring, scoring cards. cards. So this is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six times two is 12 points. Wow, the most unimpressive 12 points I've ever seen in my life, which I makes know. it incredibly impressive. That is wild. So without the commonly chosen chase cards and whatnot, it still would have been a two point pack because of those two. It would have been, yeah, it's, but yeah. It, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But I mean, that is like really, that's impressive. There you go, there you go, Vicky. 12, up to 13 points now, which actually, that could be very good Big Steve uh, competition. You never know. You never know. how it goes. Right. Um, all right, next up, Ben, it's Dragon. Dragon. Dragon, who uh, has one point, but we didn't write down the uh, cents on it, so it I don't it know. must be the case that it was like a... Like an iron treads or something. Right, yeah. right. Yes, indeed. Anyway, let's see what Dragon's got for us today. And we'll take a peek. And we got that uh, salad energy right off the top, the yep. scatterbug, the shuppet, the sprigadito, the houndor, the Ferretris, the rocky helmet, the mabostiff, the oh, squawkabilly will yep. not score. Well, the rattle will lose two points. There we go. No, one point. Just one point, yeah. One point, and then the cleft key, which gets you some honorary J points. There you go, that's um, two points on the pack and three points on the season. Uh, Dragon works for a space agency, proving oh. once and for all the dragons are real. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Uh, yeah, right? Although, isn't there a space agency called Dragon? Is there? Like, isn't that what Tesla's is? Oh, I thought it was SpaceX. I don't know, it is SpaceX, but I think okay. maybe they're, they're um, Rockets are called Dragon? Maybe, oh, I don't know. that'd be cool. We're launching the Dragon today. Nah. That should be a thing. That should be a You're thing. right. Elon, you can have that one for free. <laughs> Not for free. You're pretty rich. I'll take one million dollars. Barely you. a cent off your yeah. office. Stuff. You won't even notice it. I like Trust how you refer me. to him by his first name. Look, I mean, you know. I, I don't even know. It's like it's like you want to be, yeah, never mind. What should I call it? Musk? Listen here, Musk. I'll take a million dollars for that name. You're welcome. 
Unless you've already used it, in which case. I mean, look, since we started talking, he's probably spent that much money. It's true. Anyway, next up is Brooke, former season champion of um, the Alt Art Lugia V. I'm uh, very impressive. Very impressive. One yeah. of the one of the most wild pulls that we've that we've seen. Let's see if Brooke can repeat the magic and pull something massive out of the Scarlet and Violet. So far, she's only got three points on the season. It's hard to you know perform at the top end of this game. Um, season in, season out. Let's see what the Stone Journal will score. The Rev Room scores and the Quaquavel will score. So Brooke pulling some of her usual tricks gets four scoring cards, but it still only adds up to four, four points total. So seven. only seven on the season thus far for Brooke. Although, although again, I mean, not not a bad place to be in if you're aiming for that big Steve award. Kind That's of true. It's the end. So like, it's like Brooke is a prior champion who also now once again has the ability to strike. To score, yeah, right. Have we had any repeat winners of any kind? That not be, yet. At not some yet. point we will. At some point, it's got to happen at some point, uh, and that could be you. Next up, we have Akron guy, Akron guy okay. with a single point so far with nine cents. So they'd love to see like a good seven center here. There's the teardrop energy. So although we got, we got the although the primate, so yeah, that's already a point for. I mean the Terrence the Rio Lou, nice. The Defiance Band. The, the Nestle. Oh, there we go. The Rotom. The Chansey will not score. And oh, the, the Halucha will score twice. So one, two, three, four, five, six points. Man, man, look at that. People, People are, are getting scrappy. Stacking points today. I am so impressed. Yeah, it's like at the at, at, like each each pack, it's like we've already pulled so much cool stuff in this, like on the day, that it's yeah. like, it's hard to know what all could be like left inside of this box somewhere. I know, right? Throw those in there, Throw why not? There. Yeah. All right, next up we have Annika, like Harmonica. Oh, okay. There you go, Annika, ooh, another single pointer so far with just eight cents. So this is another uh, great opportunity to strike for last place. Let's see how Annika does. Fireball energy. We want no modifiers for Annika. We have the Aloma Mola, the Palmo. So far, we're looking pretty good. Oh, oh, there's the Mega Cham. Unfortunate. Yeah. The XP share, the Switch, the Picnic Basket, and, and the Qual. So, which will score twice. Yeah, so that's one, two, three points for Annika on the day. That's going to bring them to four on the season. So, probably not a last place finish there, unfortunately. Uh, but, you know, you got a cloth. You got a cloth. So, you know. Jay loves cloth. Cloth is a, he's a fantastically derpy Pokemon. All right, next up is Ellie, who's coming in with two points on the day. Her birthday's day, Patrick's day, so happy late birthday to you several months later. We probably said it the first time, though, so. Hopefully, probably, definitely. Yeah. Oh, you got it, you got this pack. Yeah, I got this. I you got, got this. it? It's just all the really good cards that <laughs> packed in there. That's all. That's all. I got the Dark Teardrop energy to get us going. We got the Drifloon, the Satoddle, oh. the Varum, the Magikarp, the Miriam, the Spirit Tomb, the Ultra Ball, the Curlium will not score, the Tandem Mouse will not score, oh, and the Skeletary. So a single point for Ellie. That's going to bring them to three on the season. Let's just check that Skeletary just, just for, for just track for... and purposes. Yeah. Skeletary is just going to come in at nine cents. Sense. Okay, nine so. cents. So in a, in a in a world where four points gets you to last place, Ellie has at least a nine cent card in there. There we go. There you go, Ellie. All right. Which is, I mean, whoever knows. Normally, two points means you have like a uh, a random, a rogue, a rogue non counter, a uh, card that won't count in terms of those last place points. Yeah, but, total rare card value. Yeah. All right. Next up, we have Robbie Cruz. Uh, who's got five points, no, two points on the season. My fault, Robbie, my fault. Then let's see, what have we got here? We have the Lightning Bolt Energy. We have the Rolf, the Growlithe, the Shuppet, the Tandem Mouse, the Flaffy, Youngster, Blissey Lucario scores, Slowpoke, oh, that's a fun one, and, oh, 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 oh man. man. Sorry, I saw Miriam, and I was like, oh my god, is it? This one, this is the full art Miriam, not the Illustrator art one, but, Still, still a very valuable one. And on top of that, the Illustrator Slowpoke. So three scoring cards. Let's see how Robbie does. This could be a big pack. Yeah, the two, that Miriam is going to come in at uh, number 238 on the set. It's worth $29.81. So that's with the 30. 30 points. Um, so the Slowpoke is number 204. Oh my gosh, this is very exciting. 204, the Slowpoke is going to be worth $6.35. So that's going to be 37 Plus the Lucario so is 30. 38 eight. points. Oh Goodness my gracious. That and then brings them up to 40 on the season, that which will make is 
fourth place overall. And that is a big boost for um, Team Electric. Yes. Uh, putting them in first place overall over Berkeley Comstock. Well, not Team Electric into first place. It's Robbie Cruz into first place for Team Electric. Correct. That is yes. what I meant to say. Yes. Yeah. Um, but that should do a nice little boost here. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's going to score them 20 points. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's a nice big chunk forward. Okay, wow. very impressive. And you've got Robbie. the Miriam. Well done. Man, that was... We were, we were Oops, dangerously sorry. close to having that last pack be pretty dang exciting. We were, man, good job there. So up to 38 points, that is, that's fantastic. I mean, you are one big pull away from uh, taking the whole thing down. Uh, next up though, we have Raygon. All right. Can our last pack be even better than that one? Let's see, let's find let's out. See. Everybody hold your They've breath. Got four points right now. It'd be hard to top the Miriam except with the other Miriam. Let's see, so we got the... You never know. Could we, we haven't had like a gold card or anything this, this That's episode. That's true. We got the Lechonk, the Slowpoke, the Washel, the Zangoose, the Crookedile will score yep. twice, the Flamigo, the Ferretris, the Satatl, the Wotrudia will not score, and the Claw! Oh, there it is again. So, so four, four point points. pack, right? Yep. So two for the Crookedile because they ran on the Chosen Comet Chase cards, and Claw is uh, the Rock's Pummeling Energy in addition to being rare. So. Yeah, so there you go. That's uh, double four pointers in a row. That brings you to eight on the season and puts you in a solid Big Steve contention spot. And I think that is going to do it for today's uh, contestants on Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. Man, what a day. Man, that was. Day. We had so many big cards, so many packs that used a multiple uh, number of scoring cards. Yes, very impressive, very impressive. We had, I mean, both, uh, who was it, Doe, and who was our most recent poll here? Uh, with the Miriam. With the Miriam, that was Robbie Cruz. Robbie Cruz. In both instances, we had people pull things that were like a big hitting rare and then also like a pretty medium hitting rare right. in addition. So it was like, like those packs were just like loaded with like value. They so. were, yeah. So big scoring all over the place today. And that wraps up round two overall on the season. Meaning uh, once we start opening the next packs, that will start to be people's final scores on the season. So we can start seeing where the chips will lie. I know. Yeah, I think it's going to be really, really exciting. I feel like we've gone through like the meat of the season. We're about to see how everything is going to shake out. So be sure to tune in next week as we get into our final month of pulls for season five of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers. But otherwise, until next time, bye!